Hello, everyone. So first of all, uh, on yeah. the behalf of yeah, may I continue, sir? Yeah, please go ahead. Everything's clear. Yeah, my go slides ahead. are visible. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. First of all, on the behalf of I Love Homeopathy and my group, dear, I welcome you all in this series of webinar. So this is very uh, good. I, I think this is a very good initiative in which we all can connect and share our ideas and learn more things. So the topic for today, uh, which I have selected, <clears throat> is multidimensional approach in homeopathy and role of repertory in holistic prescription. So uh, idea for taking this topic is that why there is a need. Uh, first of all, this thing came to mind, why this is the need for today generation. Today, we are divided in a lot of things, uh, but we are divided with the systems. We are divided with the way of prescription. We are divided with our way of prescription. Somebody is using repertory. Somebody is using Segal method. Somebody is using Shankaran method, something somebody is using Vijaykar method. And there is a clear distinction between the how uh, the system work or the information we use in cases. So when we stuck into one system, suppose we are uh, using repertory, we will we, we normally try to solve every case with repertory. So when we are doing a sensation method like uh, the, by given by Dr. Shankaran, then we will try to solve every case by sensation method. And same with the Segal's method. And same with the Vijaykar method. And then we got, and we all know that we get we get failures. So how to overcome that limitation? As I can tell about my journey when I am using predictive. So in acute cases, I am not able, I am not using Econite because it is not there in the acute chart. Because I am stuck into one system. But soon I realized that in why Econite is not in the acute chart? Because at their place in Mumbai, there is no cases of Econite because no northwest winds. So we have to adapt according to our place and our uh, area and our understanding. So same when I went to another Shankaran system, I stopped using uh, like podium because it is not there in chart. So whenever we get our self fixed into one box, we get limited. We get limited, and that limitation start expressing in our daily clinical results. So this is th that is why I picked that topic. That is the multi-dimensional approach in homeopathy. That how we can see cases, or how we can take case, or after case, we can analyze that case with different dimensions so that we don't get stuck into this systems or the uh, or over fixed patterns so we came out of that so this is the point of today discussion that how we can overcome that so so today we will try to understand we try to bring clarity about when in a case suppose we are having a case when we are sure that this is the case for the repertory so this is the case or we can it is better to say ki when in a case we decide that in this particular case we have to start with the repertory right or any other things also ki when to consider pathology in a case when not to consider a pathology in a case when to use thematic system when not to use thematic system when to use kingdom classification when not to use kingdom classification so we should have a clarity in our mind okay, whenever we start with a case so what information we are having in the case and what system we are going to use in that case it should be very clear or clear in our mind so today out of these many things so many things we will just talk about only one thing that is how we can out of so many tools we can use repertory 
one of the tool repertory we all use and we all know very well in a more in a open way so that we don't get carry carried away by the uh, repertory or rubrics so we should so that we have clarity in a case ki what rubric to take and what what rubrics not to consider in a case as many time we see there are there are lot of rubric in a case but when we repertorize that we came with nothing we came with no remedy is clear in that repertorization so how to overcome that limitation so this is what we are going to discuss today so to understand this ki what multi dimensional what i mean by multi dimensional so we talk about one case a few few days back a few weeks back one case came to me so she is having a retention of urine and that is very very strange case because when she she is complaining of retention of urine but she is not having any symptoms with that no distension no other problem no pain it is approximately 14 days she is not passing the urine so when doctor said ki she is lying or maybe she is faking that or she is feigning her sickness so she keep her with him for 24 to 48 hours in the hospital on the bed under observation but she is not passing any urine so they are not able to understand ki how this is possible ki she is not passing urine she is having a retention but she is not having any any any, any symptom regarding that and they also they got rft done no change in the rft so when she came to me she is uh, admitting in admitted in the hospital and want to do a catheterization but she want ki maybe homeopathy can help me because she is going on with this problem when i inquired about that ki how that all that started she told me that this started after delivery and why i when i got into the story of that that is more stranger than this that she told me that she she is not able to know that she is pregnant and when she came to know about that she is pregnant it is already in the 9 months going on which is very strange for me for me it is practically impossible how it is possible that she is not having an, any movement and any symptoms or then she said i am not aware of that and due to that there is a conflict in at their in that uh, at home in laws because his mother in law saying that you deliberately hidden this from us but she said ki i am doing my daily routine work day and night going three floors up and down and presently also before coming to the hospital she is uh, wash the clothes and then all the uh, work at home so how I, and she said i am not feigning i am not hiding anything but i am not aware of it that i am pregnant so this is very strange for me but in this case i saw one connection i saw that the, the expression in the pregnancy is also that there is no clarity everything is hidden the symptoms which must come are not coming right and same thing is in the uterine issues the in uterine issues also uh, in sorry uh, uh, retention of the urine no symptoms are coming so here i see the pattern that neither there are symptoms in the pregnancy and not there are symptoms in the retention of urine and now i have nothing more than that then i inquire about the child Ki, tell me something about the child she said ki my child is very very quiet he's she is not asking for anything she is happy she is playful she did she didn't cry she don't ask for a milk even diet, regular diet and she is very happy and the nature of the mother after the delivery she became very contented she became very relaxed she said all in all this uh, issue which is created which disturbed his whole life i am totally happy i am not i am not disturbed so in this case uh, in this case if we open uh, if we see this case in detail we we can see one pattern running that one thing is that his body is not expressing the symptoms which her her, uh, her body should express 
in case of retention of urine and in case of pregnancy along with that there is a mental state which is going on which is there in the kid there in the pregnancy and there after his mother that is totally no complaining contentment happy happiness relaxation so in this case i have no other option that i have to take we all know that we have to take the rubric here that what is the rubric we should take in this painlessness of the painful condition i consider this as a painlessness of the painful condition then i add to that contentment then i add to that one more thing which is her pathology which is disturbing her that is retention of urine after delivery the remedy came out to be naturally oh, we all know that is opium and it helped her very well but what is the learning in this case or what is important thing which is very important to know in this case why this uh, rubric that painlessness of the painful condition is important it is not only in the pathology it is also in the pregnancy so this combination of two the expression of the same same expression at two different time places is very important now this is not an individual thing this became whole this became at this is present at two different time frame and that is why this become very important so in this case this understanding help us help me a lot in other case in other case there is a uh, phobic neurosis and hypertension so and in that case he is he is having a hypertension along with that palpitation and there is a issue of suffocation which is going on in we can say all the time frame in the childhood he is feeling suffocation during the examination or ct scan mri he is feeling suffocation when there is hypertension hypertension he is feeling along with that hypertension there is suffocation when he is in a fearful condition he is feeling suffocation so along with that suffocation he is having a lot of fear you name it and he have it he have lot of fear fear of dark fear of ghost fear of this fear of that along with that he was so much fearful that his he fear from his landlord he said when his landlord came in front of me he feel like that he will eat me this is very strange right and we know there is a rubric in the repertory so in this particular case the fear is there in every aspect in the childhood in the young age along with that in a acute condition and along with that when ever he goes for any investigation or test that in case of shoulder injury he went to work for an mri so along with now normally in these cases we get carried about carried away with the idea of that fear and violence in the case and we tend to prescribe stromonium belladonna and many many more we can think about in this so when we say multi dimensional what what we mean by multi dimensional now the thing which is missing here if we prescribe belladonna or we prescribe stramonium that is suffocation so suffocation is not a salient character of the belladonna or stramonium it is more with the clingy nature so now what we can do in this case now in this case we can't use repertory as such like in previous case we did so in this case we go with the kingdom classification we will try to understand what is the family which is having fear and violence in the center and we all know the stromonium family is having the fear and violence in the center then i have to read each and every remedy that what is the remedy which is having this much of fear and along with that having hypertension and along with that having specific suffocation and along with that is there any particular fear which is having in that remedy also then when i read each and every remedy i came across a remedy which is very similar to belladonna because it is made from the same belladonna uh, that is atropin so when you study atropin it is having everything just everything like fear and violence and it is a, we all know it is a very good remedy for hypertension along with that it is having a very strong symptoms of suffocation and particularly that uh, atropin is having fear of buried alive which is there in this patient so in this case 
we use different approach in the previous case we use different approach so if we go with this so if we understand this if we see the k if, uh, we can say that there are two, two approaches one is tailor made approach that we get fixed with our idea we have to use repertory then every case we have to use the repertory and second is designer approach that we take first a case in a full detail then after the case we decide whether in this case i have i have to use repertory or i have to use kingdom classification or i have to use thematic or if repertory then which repertory right if repertory i have to use a bogar boning as an approach or i have to use a cantonian approach so we should be very very clear in our mind so this is what when i say multi dimensional approach and this is not limited in this only so whenever we study any remedy suppose we study any remedy we study kali we should know we should understand through this multi dimensional approach for example i am having a patient of a kali but his pathology <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Suppose uh, we are, huh, we are, it, it, it. so suppose I'm having a patient which seemed to me as a, from my experience, uh, he he's, seems like Kali Kaab, we repertorize the Kali Kaab is coming, but he's the pathogenesis of the patient is of the sinuses, right? He's having the issue of the sinus. Then we know that Kali Kaab is not as known for the sinuses kalibai is known for the sinuses same a patient is having more anxious than what we read in kalika he is having a much more anxiety especially in the heart heart area or in regarding the heart disease or anxiety about the health which is much more 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 than kalika then we go for the kali arts suppose patient is having the repertorization kali kaab is coming and pa in the patient which we are seeing is having more chronicity glands are involved or there is a more chronicity or pathology is very severe so we can say that we can it is better to go with the kali i out red rather than the kali kaab so this a slight change or this slight we can say fine tuning it is very very crucial and very very important and this can be a game changer in any prescription which you prescribe in the daily routine so this is what when i say multi dimensional multi dimensional means we take all dimension together and try to understand the case my teacher always said that the bit that does not fit is the key to the case so we and our tendency normal tendency is to ignore that bit like in this case of atropine that fear uh, the dreams of buried alive it is there in the uh, prover and it is there in the uh, patient also but if we are fixed with the stramonium or belladonna then we say oh, it is fear so no problem the fear is there in stramonium but that that fine tuning is very important and that is why we need that approach the multi dimensional approach so this is very important for us and as we all know that we can say that the carpenter we are just like a carpenter having a different tools together because if we are having only one tool you know what we can do in that condition we try to solve each problem then each problem if we are having a hammer then each problem look like a nail so when i'm having a one system or one method we, which we are or we are in tune to that we see case in that dimensional only that dimension one dimensional only and that is the reason we need a multi dimensional approach then second thing of today's discussion when now we are having a case when in a case we are sure and we know that out of so many tools we are having 
here in this particular case repertory is first which we have to use and this is very very important understanding because we can't start all cases with the repertory but we should know very very clearly okay, what are the cases in which the first we have to use the repertory so today we will discuss this okay, what are the things or what are the cases in which we have to start with the repertory so before that we must know our repertory very well and we must know the limitations of our repertory very well right for example Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, now it's clear. I think there's some loose connection there. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. Hmm. So, how we have to know the limitation of our repertory? So, suppose I am having a case. Now, repertory as a tool and repertory as a limitation, we must know that, right? This is very important. So that is why I normally, when I talk with my friends, or I, I, I said that, I always talk like this, repertory is our friend, but it is a headless friend. Repertory is not having head of his own. We should have our head, and we should use our head and use repertory in a way it should be used. So like there is a one case, a very small example of the case. His issue is very simple. He came came to me uh, with a simple problem that is sleepover problem. But it is not a simple sleepover problem. He sleep even while driving a two two wheeler. He sleep while doing his regular work in a factory. So much in, in this patient, his patient is having a very sudden sleep. Sudden, within a few minutes, he can sleep in a deep sleep and is not aware of that. So now. He came for this this problem only. He is not having any other issues in his life. So now, what to do? So here, the role of a repertory is very important. So now, how to? Oh, now we should. It is not like mathematical. Ki just we take rubric sleep over powering, and along with that, we add few more rubrics, which we can get out of that patient. Right? We all. We all are having many symptoms. We all are a little bit timid. We all are a little bit shy. We all are having jealousy. We all are having thirst and thermals. We can add to this rubric and came out. We came out with the polycrust or some remedy which is having sleep over powering. But here in this case, or in any given case, we have to match that exactly. The intensity of that sleep in that patient it is too much. It is characteristic. It is peculiar that he's sleep while driving a two wheeler. We can sleep with a, in a four wheeler, but in a two wheeler, while doing his factory work, he slept while doing his regular factory work, and that also in the few minutes. Then this repertory can be an important tool in this case. How? But how I approach this guy? I took one journal rubric, sleep over problem, and read each remedy one by one. There is no other way. We have to do like this. When we read, read each and every remedy. Then I came across one remedy in which proving, in proving it was written that a prover, when he drink the mother tincture of that remedy, he he completely is taken off. He, he became he felt in a deep sleep, and when he woke up, there is a noon uh, that noon time, and the bottle in one hand and cork in other hand, and is not able to know. Ki, what happened to me so that is exact that is the intensity of the sleep that remedy is having so remedy is this one so it was written the sleep the most profound that ever experienced arrested me so abruptly that i remain motionless for the whole night uncocked while in one hand and sun was high above the horizon so the intensity of the sleep covering 
in the patient should match with the intensity in the patient so we here we can't give just opm or nux muscat or any other remedy which is having sleep over powering but we can do that when we add just other rubrics right so we must very very clear when we add rubric because one wrong rubric in medicine is out of the chart or total out of the consideration so in in our understanding we not only go for the similarity we we should go for the exactness with the that but we also know the limitation of the tool the limitation is very clear suppose when we see we when we read in cantharis this one of the page of mine he told me that there is can listen voices he can hear voices right? that he can hear footsteps that somebody is coming then he felt that somebody is under the table right and under his bed and he is about to grasp him and his hands are cold now this is the proven symptom of cantharis that the vision at the night half awake he heard footsteps knocking under the bed bed was raised something took hold of her hand and that hands are icy cold but when this expression goes to the repertory it just lost its whole essence it divides the expert it gets scattered in all of the whole repertory it become delusion here footstep delusion of hearing delusion here voice delusion bed raised delusion somebody under the bed delusion he will be choked so if we see that the whole reason of the entire patient is just gone so here we are with it's with bit pieces of the information and that is why it is very important that we must know the tool that the tool is just an index so we have to go back to the material medical to understand this like these are two rubrics the branch branch is vigorously cpa Sleep in the kitchen, sleep in the bed. Any remedy is helpful, but and some and many times this happens. We we bring with new understanding and new explanation of the rubrics, right? We can we say uh, we talk about the metaphors, right? but we have to see that from where it is coming. And when we refer to the repertory, these rubrics are added by the veterinary doctor, and they are the they are the symptoms in animals and not in the humans. so we must know over tool very well ki first when to use repertory and when not to use repertory and when we are using repertory which rubric to take and which not rubric which rubric we not to have we not have to consider that rubric and then which repertory to use which repertory not to use and then how to use that repertory so we should have that clarity in our mind so that is the second part which we are going to discuss and this is very important right so what is the second part so now coming to that we when we have to use a tool repertory first in a case now what are that type of cases which call for the repertory they themselves cases talk about that ki let's use repertory first now we normally we see two types of patient in our clinic suppose example i have given here that patient talks about bonding patient talks about love patient talks about togetherness now there are two type of expression in one patient talk in full detail about the love bond and togetherness he express in whole totality the bonding for me is like being one being one unit it's not simple that's one of the patient told me that this is not my bonding my bonding is like this it should be very very strong it should it should like a covalent bond and not a simple bond so that those patient which express that 
that symptom in whole detail we need a different approach but when we we get stuck in a case with just one symptom that bonding and there is no explanation to that bonding or any mental symptom like dreams of snake no explanation after that uh, uh, dream of snake or suffocation or excitement but the, there is no explanation with excitement no we can say no experience attached to that excitement no experience attached to that constriction they are the cases which need repertory first so that is very important those are the cases in which we have symptom at the mental physical or journal level which are not having experience attached attached to them and that in that cases we need repertory first then when we are clear that we now in this case we need repertory then when we repertorize we are having so many symptoms then we must be very very clear ki whether we are taking everything together right and we all know that when we take everything together we came up with some polycrest no problem no issues with that and we can confirm that remedy also we are master in that right so the patient is front of us and if we are decided that we are giving we are going to give lycopodium to him then we can confirm it for sure we all doing it since long but how we can overcome this limitation of our mind also that is biasness right how to overcome that and how to understand that out of that bunch of information what what information is that which is we going to use in this case and that clarity is very important for that clarity i i am going to give you example which is given by my master dr dinesh he explained me this understanding beautifully he told me suppose in a case right we have excitement excitement as a whole level when i say at the whole level means like in the first case there is no symptom and that no symptoms it is at the whole level means that is in the pregnancy also in the patient also the contentment in the child also and in the patient also so that contentment and that painlessness of the painful condition which we apply is present at the whole level it is not at present at the isolated area in that uh, area for suppose in the pathology only it is not in the pathology only it is also in the pregnancy only it is also there in the pregnancy so here for example excitement is at the whole level means in the mind in the dream in the hobby excitement is everywhere and patient is telling that i am very Uh, very upset with the listening to the stories of suppose injury or accident but i feel excited after that listening to all this stuff and patient has having a very strong desire for wine very strong it is plus 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 has a strong desire for a coffee has a strong desire for a sour things has a strong desire for the spicy and stimulants right and patient said he feel excited after eating all this and then he tell ki whenever he feel excited his whole body trembles he want to talk he become lifacious after excitement and whenever he is over excited the best thing to relax himself is that sitting in the knee elbow position that make him feel better and when we see in that case in the childhood there is a strong fear of ghost and there is a desire for ice cream very strong now in this case we are having excitement we are having a sad stories uh, affect us profoundly we are having a wine desire we have having a coffee desire we are having a sour thing desire we are having a spices and stimulant desire we are having a trembling with the excitement we are having a locacity in this we are having a fear of ghost and we have an ice cream desire now in this case we are not having experience of the excitement so we are sure ki now in this case we have to use repertory as a tool now out of so many things what to take and what not to take so mostly what what we do in regular basis we took all the rubric we took excitement we took desire wine and all the desire because all the desires are very strong we took lacacious we took the trembling with excitement we took fear of ghost we took ice cream but here is the catch because if we do this again we are going to came up with the same polycrest remedies because we just put everything inside there is no mind to it right we here we just 
apply repertory mathematically now what we can do in this now try to understand it take just one minute if you see what patient is telling that when he drink wine it excites him when he drink coffee it excites him when he desire so it, it excites him when he drink coffee it excites him and whenever he takes stimulants it, it excites them and even listening to that stories also excites them excite him so all these things which desire which we are getting are just an another expression of his whole that is excitement so everything is coming from excitement everything is connected with the excitement so if we took all rubrics together we are taking only one information in the ca case that is excitement and that is why we failed in these type of cases so in these rubric everything is coming from excitement or we can say everything is making him excite so in this particular case we will we should not first considered all this desires and aversion in spite of all of them having a very strong information so first in this case if i am using this then i will take first excitement then is see what else in what else is the information which is important along with that excitement so second thing which is important is trembling and loquacity so it is not because of excitement because, but it is as a compliment it is not exciting lokesh is ex not exciting him or trembling is not exciting him it is coming associating with that excitement which we normally know as concomitants so here i will take first excitement then i will take loquacity third i will take trembling uh, with excitement and then what about that fear of ghost and desire ice cream which is plus plus in his childhood we should not consider that because in childhood this is the common desire we get ice cream and chocolates along with that the fear of ghost it is very common in children so here rather than taking all the rubrics together right we should go for a an clear idea that we what we will take so in this we will go for excitement we go for loquacity we go for excitement with the trembling and the amelioration part of the excitement so in that case it is a good chance that we will come to a remedy which is having which we need in that particular case i give you one more example right suppose patient is having a suffocation patient came to you and he is telling that i am having suffocation and constriction and it is there in all level right constriction and suffocation it is there in all level it is not a part of a case that we see in previous atropine case it is a part of a case suffocation if whenever he fear he will feel suffocated right but in this case we have suffocation and constriction but we are not having experience of that suffocation and constriction so this qualify that this is the case we should start with the repertory then we get symptom ki whenever he feels suffocated he having perspiration on the upper lip whenever he feels suffocated right he is having a dreams of the snake whenever he feels suffocated he crave for the sweet and there is a modality that he feel better overall in the journal by walking and he is timid in nature so in this case again we can do same mistake we combine everything together but now we have to understand how we can go in this case in a way that we can easily get to the remedy which what remedy we have to prescribe in that case so in this case what i do what i should do what we should do that we should not consider we should first consider ki what are the things which are attached to the center issue of the patient that is suffocation and constriction that at perspiration upper lip that is having dreams of snake that is craving for the sweet so i took i will i have to took three information in this case that is upper lip perspiration upper lip then dreams of the snake then i will take the sweet desire and when i take this these three rubric then i have to look in that list of the rubrics uh, remedies which are covering which is having suffocation and constriction in the center in which this feeling of suffocation and constriction in very strong 
part in that remedy right so here if we do this the chances of the failure or we can say the chances of getting wrong are very 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 less right so when we come to one more case and we will end up this session this kid came to me for this problem there will be shared to tell us and in his whole condition what is the information we are having otherwise a very calm and very shy kid right never disturb his parents during the childhood but what happened in the school one of the teacher in front something happened in the school some issue his name came in that and he is not involved in that uh, issue in the school but his teacher talk about him in front of the school and scolded him and he feel very angry and humiliated in that condition he feel embarrassed right because everybody is laughing in, uh, in that uh, assembly and everybody everybody start teasing him uh, due to that uh, situation and that is the that is the time when his hair fall started and when hair hair fall started it not responding to any medicine and not getting wet with any treatment so when he came to me he lost everything and you know here on the body whole body and when any inquirer what happened after after that he said after this thing his pt teacher he just removed the cap in that time he is having an alopecia that spots the bald spots on the head remove his cap in front of everybody then again he feel humiliated he feel very bad in feel he feel angry in that and very embarrassing stop going to school at all and after that this thing happened he he start losing his hair in 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 whole head and he became the case of alopecia totalis so along with that he other information in case which are very important ki whenever this situation happens he weeps a lot he weeps very easily he weeps with small small things along with that whenever he weeps there is a vomiting along with that these are the another information along with that other information in this case so in this case also i am having one information that is embarrassment and along with that that anger feeling in that patient and i am having no experience to that uh, experience that experience of that embarrassment like like one of the patient he told me for me embarrassment is like ki you take me to the uh, uh, street and uh, strip all my clothes and everybody is laughing on me this is embarrassment for me for example i am in an army and my junior is torn my clothes and i am i am, and i am court martial and everybody is laughing at me and everybody in the uh, around me will talk about that he has done uh, so much bad to his name so this is the whole embarrassment so that patient explained whole view about his embarrassment but in this particular case i am having simple information about embarrassment so no other information rather than that now this is the area where we have to use repertory so in this we know that there are rubric embarrassment ailments of embarrassment now along with that there is a strong anger in him there is strong anger he want to react but he did not react in that case so i took one more rubric and combined that is ailment from mortification mortification humiliation chagrin why because it is a larger rubric because embarrassment is a smaller rubric so that i don't miss any remedy so i combine these two because mortification means it is it is mortif ailments from mortification humiliation chagrin right and mortification in hindi means atma daman indriya daman so repression of our inner forces that is kaam krodh lobh moh ahankar all the five and that is the reason the conium is there in mortification because in conium there is a sexual repression in not anger only anger so in mortification there are five part that is kaam krodh lobh moh ahankar so i took a bigger rubric so that i don't miss that in the case so with this i attach one more which is associated with that embarrassment that is weeping now the remedies which are coming now i have to see the other part of the case which is present in that case that is vomiting with weeping and now when i attach that i came with pulsatilla and when i read pulsatilla i also got one more rubric 
that is uh, vomiting after mortification or i think she has weeping after mortification so i prescribed the pulsatilla in this case this and pulsatilla bring this change in him overall and unluckily he met with an accident he went into a coma and he stayed he was in a coma for many months then then again they contact to me that then i prescribe hypericum in that case on that present totality now it he's he's out of that coma and now able to recognize everybody and get, getting back to his normal life after after that so what we discuss today is very important first we should have a clarity in our mind according to the tools we are having we sh should we should not get fixed to one tool we should all the tools right it is like so it like a person having a many weapons in the armor right you cannot a, for example you cannot uh, kill a, a simple uh, a crow with the tank right you need one air gun one air gun is enough you must know your tools very well so out of that tools you must know when to use what tool in that particular case because when you know that that clarity will be bring freedom and it will also give uh, it also help you get better result so today we we discuss that we should not be fixed in a box we should be free to use all the possible tools we have and today we discuss only one tool that is repertory we talk about its utility and its limitation after that we talk about ki in a given case how to use that that in a given case if you are having one symptom which is at the whole level and that other symptoms are just getting just getting covered in that only we should not consider that like in excitement and desire for coffee and desire for wine and desire everything everything is giving give, going back to that excitement so we should not use for repertorization because it is just expression of that so by understanding this we can use our repertory better in many ways so this is what i want to share in today session so once again i on the behalf of the dear and and i want to special thanks to the dr kartik raghav murthy for giving us a beautiful and wonderful space and audience and thank you sir for this opportunity and space sir for this bye everybody any questions sorry any questions are welcome i'm not able to listen sir. hello hello yeah hello uh ha now i am able to listen to you sir. now you are able to, to listen. Listen. Uh, yes. doctor can you check the messages there is a doctor akanksha who wants to know yes sir where yeah i think yeah you can just check that yeah 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 in her in her previous history also he is having this symptom that he is having a very uh, uh, we can say that very less symptoms in the pregnancy but not like this that he is not aware of pregnancy at all that she she went to hospital for a distension of her abdomen when when doctor checked she said ki this is a pregnancy of 6 months but when they get scan done it came out to be a 9 months and he deliver a healthy baby after 20 days of that situation i think in 11 or 12 days after that so this is very strange basically it is so we can say that is it it is very very strong information in that case along with that hits pathology also it is just same 
for 14 days she is not having any symptom and and she went to every nephrologist says that there is no issues with the kidney neurologists say that there is no problem with the bladder bladder nervous uh, issues or any uh, muscular issue so then they went to psychiatrist and they said no she may be feigning and they keep her for 48 hours then also there is no passes of passing of urine and in spite of no passing of the urine she is not having any symptom at all and her body is not expressing at all so that is why it is become holistic for me okay that that information is there in this also and this also it is going on am i making sense dr kanshan yeah okay does anybody else have anything else to ask uh, dr yogesh you can either type it out or you can request to be request permission for broadcast and uh, you can ask the doctor directly So uh, I don't think there's anybody who's ready to yeah. ask any questions, doctor. So I'd like to thank you, doctor, and uh, also thank uh, Dare, Dr. Pramila, for uh, suggesting you again, once again, and really enjoyed this. We learned a lot, and I hope all the other participants also learned a lot from this. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you, lot, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Everybody, bye.